Hi and welcome to Christmas Scribbles with St Stephen's Church in Aberdeen. I'm Ruthie and I'll show you how to make craft number seven, Christmas window card. From craft seven in your crafty carrier, you will need white card, tree template, yellow paper, six black card strips, four thick and two thin, and a bag of bits. Empty the wee bag into a box or bowl and check you have a star, coloured dots and sequins. You will also need scissors and either PVA glue or print stick. Begin by folding your white card in half. Slide your finger up and down the folded edge for a sharp crease. Cut very thin strips from the top and the side of your yellow paper. Just enough so it fits on top of the card without it overlapping. Glue the yellow paper right to the edges. Then carefully line it up and stick it down on top of the card. Smooth it out carefully to make sure there are no lumps and bumps. Now cut out your tree template. Line your tree up with your card to see how it'll look. It'll look best if your tree's a little off centre. So cut a little bit away from the left hand side of your tree. I cut mine just in line with the top branch. Use a pencil and a ruler to draw it on before you start cutting if it makes it easier. When it's the right size, glue the back of your tree right to the edges and across the middle and stick it down at the bottom left hand side of your card. Same as before, smooth it down to get rid of lumps and bumps. Then decorate your tree with your sticky dots. Try not to put too many right in the middle of the card or they'll get covered up by the window. Then add glue to the back of your star and stick it down on top of the tree. Now we're going to add the window. First line it up to see how it will look before you add the glue. Use the thick strips for the edges and the thin strips for the middle. You might want to very carefully cut them a bit to thin them out or straighten them up. When you're happy with them, glue and stick them down. Start with the two sides. Then add the top and the bottom. Snip away the overlapping bits with your scissors, but careful you don't cut the card. Stick the thinner strips in the middle in a cross shape over the window. Next, add your sequins. Use little dabs of glue and stick them flat side down.
If you have any spare, you could pop them back in the bag and use them to decorate another craft. Now you have a lovely card. All that's left to do is write a nice message inside and give it to someone you love for Christmas. Don't forget to put your lid back on your glue and clean your brush so it doesn't go hard. Whether you're young or old, I'm sure you're young at heart and we'd love to see pictures of your crafts and of you making them. Don't forget there will also be a competition for the best ones and you might win a prize. Send your pictures to stephensaberdeen at gmail.com. The address is on the screen. We might use your pictures on our Facebook page or even in our services. Thanks for watching and Merry Christmas to you all.